everyone, Sornar Rocks is here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, this is an alpha that actually only came out for the PlayStation, I'm pretty sure. Um, at least from what I've heard, it's only been a PlayStation exclusive for now. But don't worry, there's only one game mode, and it's a game mode called Champion Hill. And to be honest with you, I actually kind of like it. If you think back to Modern Warfare, which wouldn't be that long ago, they had a game mode called Gunfight. And this was a game mode where it was two people that jumped in and they versed two other people. And what happened was you get a randomization of guns and they just drop you into a little level and you both have a chance just to kill each other with only one life. Now this kind of takes that concept a little bit by putting everybody in 2v2s, but spreading them out through different levels, well different smaller maps, and having them fight each other with multiple lives. I think 12 in total. And I gotta say, it's not too bad. Honestly, if anything, I actually kind of like it. I would say I'm disappointed that the fact that they call this an alpha, and we all know that the game's probably finished by now. <laughs> they call this an alpha and give us one game mode here where I'm assuming that the beta might have more. It just seems to make sense that way. Nonetheless, Champion Hill is pretty fun. It's just something that if you have a good partner on your team that you can be able to do this. I know this a lot when I was playing, a lot of people would seem to uh, drop out of the game, they had no idea what was going on, so they would just shoot randomly. It was very weird. It doesn't seem like people started to catch on until as I played the game a little bit more and started getting into more matches. But from the highlights that I'm showing you here, and from the gameplay that I'm about to show you in a little bit, we're going to go ahead and see um, exactly how it plays and exactly what can happen if you and your partner are able to work well together. So on my third playthrough, when I actually recorded this footage that you're about to see, I ended up muting everybody anyway because nobody really talks, especially the person that you're probably partner up with if you can't have any real communication. It's kind of hard to work things around. Uh, fortunately, I was actually given a good partner on this third run through, so you're going to actually see us get kills, and we ended up coming in third place. Like, like I said, it's pretty fun, but the difference between this and Gunfire, whereas the guns were randomized, this game actually allows you to pick your perks, pick your equipment, and pick the guns that you want. Now, you can just have the same weapon and just upgrade that weapon as you'll see in the footage here. But sometimes it's best to always switch the weapon out. It seems like people have come to the understanding that semis are probably the best thing to use. As you will see with this, with a team that we're going to be battling here in the, one of the highlights I'm going to show you, that somebody just sat in the back of the map and just snipe people on the other side of the map and that's how they was able to win. Unfortunately, yeah, there's going to be people that's going to exploit this, I can already see that, so maybe map rotation might definitely benefit on this, because it seems like some people get the same maps over and over, or there's just some maps that are just tailored to somebody just taking out a person right away. They had that in Gunfight as well, but it always seems like there was one or two maps that would try to mix it up, or at least would put a wall in between one team and another. That way, when the match starts, the person doesn't get sniped right away. So you're about to see what I'm talking about as I go ahead and show you the footage from one of the matches that I recorded yesterday. Like I said, I played a number of games. This was possibly the best footage I was able to get. Actually, no doubt, this is probably the best footage I was actually able to get because he was the only partner I had that actually didn't leave the game after they got killed once. So it seems like some people either are probably on the fence about this. Maybe they thought it was different. Maybe they thought it was like a one life game also or like search and destroy, but it's not. It's you get you get multiple lives and a certain amount of lives and you have to uh, eliminate the other team before the time ends. Otherwise, the other team just goes on and they just fight random teams and then just random teams over and over. Um, towards the end here, we got put in with the same team, but that's mostly because there was three teams left and somebody had to take the third place slot, which turned out to be us. So here we go. Uh, we're going to look at Call of Duty Vanguard real quick. I'll be right back. Let's 
it's it's just start time. right here, just shooting each other, but that's uh, obviously not the case. Now, in the bottom right here corner, I got the amount of money that I have. The same with the amount of armor that I have. And as you can see, it ties you up 2v2. So it's 2v2, and the game picks randomly who you're going to verse. Welcome so to Champion Hill here about and all other teams for the win. Just took all the money. So this is going to be interesting. Now, he's actually one of the first people out of the uh, other two matches I played. This will be my third match. Out of the other two matches I played, I had people every single time. Oh, didn't see that person. I do like the You've fact that they... Ten oh, seconds. Shit, there he is. You saw him? I do like the fact that it's running off the same engine as Modern... That's Modern Warfare 2019. That's that, it! This way Take their lives! The, um... Oh, that's actually the first match I've ever won so far. Uh, probably because he's the first random that I've played with who hasn't left. I would say this game will probably be new better... Match, new match, new team, new playing with, um... Oh, looks like somebody already figured out that where the spawn is. That this game mode would definitely be better if you're playing with somebody that you can trust. Somebody that you know that if you play with will get the job done. Now, when you're playing with randoms, you're definitely taking a risk. Because you don't know who could leave, you don't know who could um who could actually be watching your back or for the most part, people like to go off and do their own thing, such as what I'm doing right now and this gentleman's doing right now. Five. Oh, I couldn't even get a shot off in that one. We couldn't even see anybody. Ah, so see, as you can look over there in the right-hand corner, we already had somebody that left this game. Weird. I just don't understand the point of leaving when you're investing into the game this far. What gun is that? Wow, it's nice to see somebody using a different gun that isn't the PP. Careful there, you got under 10 lives what gun left. Is this I'm using? The M1928. Like, this seems to be the main gun that everybody is using, and it's kind of interesting to see somebody actually does not use that for once. Okay, so this guy is dead. I uh, take his armor, I got killed, but my partner ended up getting him in the end. You see, that's what you need. That's why you need a good Careful partner. there, you got under also, 10 lives left. Also, if you look in the left, bottom right hand corner, something that I days. really like is that you can upgrade weapons on the fly. Ooh! Gory! Okay, they brought the whole gore back. ten I seconds! Like that. Oh, I feel sorry. I feel sorry for my teammate there. And I, I was definitely the cause of that. And as you can see, we already got one team eliminated. I've never seen a team get eliminated that fast. Like I said, normally people leave. Well, so here's a chance to resupply. Seen, um, a team actually get eliminated. I mean, me and the other guy. So after this, we get knocked out if we lose. Um... So what we're so what we're gonna do is we're just going to uh, we're just gonna upgrade the weapon from here from here on out. Oh dang! I didn't see him. Good thing I got that extra life though. We're long we're long lives, but I got an extra one. Only four lives left. Which is uh, normally when they put an extra life into the game, it's always in a place where it's <laughs> it's gonna compromise you. Oh. I have no idea where that came from. It came from over here. Hit him with, I hit him with an impact grenade. My partner got him. Good. Team Fox was wrecked. Only six teams remaining. So you got Baker ten is seconds. basically down at this point. You bag Team Baker. And right, take a breather, you lot. That's it. Take their lives. Those are the same guys we fought earlier, correct? I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our gun here twice. Until we get the last upgrade. And we're gonna see if that actually does anything. And... We couldn't do anything because we got one headshot to the head. Ah, oh, one shot to the head. And you're in a three head. lives, you! Uh, my buddy just picked up another life. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'd love to be able to mount my gun again. That was something that Cold War also took away, which I no idea why they decide to do that. Um, I tried out that gun before, so I did, and I Only didn't have lives. the same luck that this now. person's happening with that gun. You got ten seconds! We got him that time. Don't know how long this is gonna last. Let's see. I got another upgrade. Okay, I actually thought I was on my last upgrade. We got upgrade fleet, and that matches a draw, but we only have two lives between us, 
Which means that if we don't get um, another kill, we got two extra kills. One more kill. We need one more. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Where is he? There he is. There we go. We got him. We got him. Can we get him? You flattened get... team Hal. Struggle's over. Take a minute. Thanks. You got 10 seconds. Hey, take their lives. I actually forgot where I was going with it. We did three and zero. I was trying to calculate, uh, count up um, how many kills we got there. But um, seems like these guys aren't spectating. They... They lost, so they left. Resupply and stock up. Them. Sometimes you just have to have to take that L, and you just gotta move on. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got um, more perks. So we got demolition, uh, extra lethal on spawn. So I'm gonna stick with my buddy here, so we can actually, just in case like one of us dies, one of us can get the rebound. And I messed that up. <laughs> One life left to live. I was hoping he turned out. around. And he Team was Abel able to was get eliminated. Um, One life left. Give it your all. Right he has armor. See, there are impact grenades there. And he got me. He outplayed me. He, I thought he was going to the left, but he actually went to the right. That's unfortunate. Out and uh, two round. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we got one more. And I. <laughs> Uh, this, this is a terrible spawn, absolutely terrible spawn. People have already figured out that if you have a uh, bolt rifle or anything like that, you can instantly eliminate somebody. It's, it's not, it's not a good time. At all. That's not good. And I, and I feel sorry for my partner here because he's, uh, Ten he's seconds. really trying, really, really good player. Um, let's get, get a round of applause for him. Uh, we came in third place. That is not too bad. So that's really, really all I got to say about it. That's the so there you have it, my little gameplay on Call of Duty Vanguard. That's my views on it. Like I said, I think Champion Hill, I give them credit for actually trying to do something different. I was, we can also talk about what's happening behind the scenes with Activision, but I'm gonna try to stay out of that news for now. Either way, just focusing on the game, I'm glad that they're using the Modern Warfare engine. Uh, my audio was pretty bad in this video, so I do apologize for that. I'm looking to get some better recording software rather than just record from the system itself because the audio is just getting completely messed up and the end game audio was way too high, so I apologize for that. So hopefully in the near future I can possibly get some sort of uh, recording equipment. Maybe once I actually get a PS5. But anyway, that, that is it. The alpha gave me about an hour of enjoyment. And up out of that hour, maybe 20 minutes of it actually felt high intense intensity because I knew I didn't know what was going on. Once I actually figured out how to play the actual game, it just became a simple matter of, well, is my partner gonna stick around or not? You know, but for the most part, if you're definitely playing by yourself and you're playing with somebody who's random and they decide to leave on you, it's going to be a lot harder. Why? Mostly because the other team is probably not going to leave, especially if they see you by yourself. They're just going to keep killing you over and over. And even if you manage to get a killing on one of them, the other person's going to show up. As you can see, uh, we've also had that happen in our gameplay as well. So. Yeah, that's about all I got on this, and I will be playing the beta, possibly making another video. I don't know if I'm going to buy this one. I'm not really sold on anything yet. I wasn't really into the trailer itself, and playing a little bit of the alpha, like I said, I like the game mode, but it's nothing too innovative that Call of Duty's doing. It's basically just taking a concept that they kind of did already and slightly improving on it, but it's nothing to really make me want to throw out some money to uh, another game in this franchise. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I did not really care for Cold War all that much. I heard this one's supposed to have zombies in it too. I am a big Call of Duty Zombies guy. Um, but I haven't really played a Treyarch Zombies thing in a while. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I might just end up skipping this one and just look forward to Modern Warfare 2. 
man, Modern Warfare 2019 was good. It's a shame that these games are tr starting to go back in a different direction. You know, it's it's so weird. They're sort of backpedaling on some very good foundation that they established in 2019. I just don't understand why. But like I said, at least you can mount your weapons again. Well, that's it. I'd like to thank you for clicking on the video if you did and listen to me ramble on. That's about all I got, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.